Hi, welcome to the Mike Page Doodle Club. I'm Mike Page, and today we are going to draw my dog, Winston. Uh, Winston is a standard schnauzer, and he's got a huge personality, so this should be fun. Uh, grab a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper, and let, don't be afraid to make mistakes, and let's get right to it. Okay, so to start Winston, I'm going to make a sort of smushed rainbow shape like that. And then I'm going to kind of continue down. These are going to be his massive eyebrows. Every dog's got personality somewhere. A lot of Winston's personality comes in his eyebrows and his beard. Um, then on this side, I'm going to make the top part of his eyebrows. So his eyebrows are pretty complex. They, they kind of go every which way. These are hairs coming up, um, and these hairs are rounding over and sort of flopped downward, if that makes sense. And hiding underneath there are going to be his eyes, but He's also got some hairs in here that poke out towards his eyes. So I'm going to apply those first. Now I can bury some eyes back in there. Normally when I draw Winston, it's a very scribbly, um, just fun cartoon of him. But I'm going to put a little more time into this one. For anybody that's got a schnauzer out there that wants to draw their dog. Winston is a standard schnauzer, but there's also miniature and giant versions. Standard schnauzers are, were originally bred to be ratting dogs on farms in Prussia and Germany. So when there is a rabbit or a squirrel or a chipmunk outside, Winston is very interested in what they're up to and he wants nothing more than to go chase them. Um, and he's actually quite good at catching them, so I, I try not to let him do that too frequently. Uh, schnauzers are also excellent uh, family dogs, but they're also great at counter surfing, so you want to keep your your food far back on your counters. Um, when I first got him, I had a trainer actually tell me that he would be happy to take my money if I wanted to pay him, but not to expect any change in the behavior of counter surfing, so I just trained Winston on my own. I appreciated the honesty. All right, so these are going to be the start of his ears. I don't trim Winston's hair quite as often as I should, so his ears are, um, they've got a little bit of sort of fringe on them. Uh, and then his ear is going to go outward. Actually, it would help if I show you here what his face is going to do. It's going to come in slightly on both sides, almost hourglass-like. Winston's face is very interesting because based on how he's sitting, sometimes his face looks like it tapers in and sometimes you just see this giant bushel of beard kicking out everywhere. Uh, it's always funny when I give him a bath to realize just how thin his face would be if it wasn't for his massive beard. I had a I was walking Winston recently and I had a neighbor tell me that he's the Sam Elliott of dogs, which I thought was a pretty awesome compliment. If you know Sam Elliott, you know he's got great facial hair. Uh, so the rest of his ear is going to kind of taper down this way. There's a couple folds in it and it's all 
hair. Um, again, I don't trim his hair quite as often as I should, so there's usually a little bit of uh, excess there hanging over the edges. Winston is a salt and pepper schnauzer, so he's gray. I've always found gray dogs to be pretty striking because they're not all that common. And if you're picturing a gray dog, you're probably picturing um, like a Siberian Husky. There aren't too many other gray dogs out there. This ear is hanging like this. Uh, then I'm going to figure out where I want his nose. His nose is going to be right about here. My mom always comments that Winston has a perfect dog nose, so I'll try not to mess this up. The pressure is always on when I make his nose because my mom thinks that he's got such an ideal dog nose. Um, Winston's nose is a little more squared. If you've seen the other dog episodes that I've done, they were very triangular. Winston's nose kind of squares off at the bottom. Um, when you're seeing it from the front. So we're gonna round it there. And then right about near the middle, we're going to make one nostril. and the second nostril. And when we're doing this from the front, this is almost a number six that's fallen on its side. Um, but you do want, it kind of continues in from the side and then goes into that circle shape. And then kick the pen up near the middle there. That wasn't quite in the middle. And a slight shadow. Some dogs have really wet, slobbery noses. Winston does not, thank goodness. Um, but he does make up for it with his beard. Um, when he goes and gets some water, he trickles water everywhere. You always know when Winston has just drank some water. Especially if you are a barefoot. You will find out in a real hurry that Winston was thirsty. Um, so there's almost like an explosion of hair happening here, coming out every direction. But what I'm going to do is kind of plan out a few of the longer hairs first so that we have a little bit of direction here. Then from here, I'm going to make some coming up and we're just going to start fanning out, basically. Um, and I would say less is more here. You don't wanna overdo it. Um, but there are kind of hairs coming all over here. And this area is a dark gray along from under his eye and along his cheek. Um, but then the outer edge here will be white, which is why I'm not quite going all the way to the edge. And same thing on the other side. I'm going to try to fill some of that in. I just got a glob there. Uh, what I like to do um, is uh, off on the side somewhere, just kind of rotate the tip of the pen against the paper to get rid of globs every now and then. I haven't been doing that. Um, but if you're using a ballpoint pen or a Bic pen, it's very important if you want to be doing light shading like this. Otherwise, you will end up with a heavy glob at some point. It's just a matter of time. And typically, it happens at the worst possible moment when you're doing something really light. So it's a good idea to remember to do that periodically. Um, before I make the rest of Winston's beard, I'm going to go ahead and make his mouth. 
So right in here we've got that Sam Elliott mustache of his. So we're gonna have some hairs. Overall, they're kind of curving outward, um, but you do want a little bit of variation in it. Schnauzers aren't exactly the most well-kempt dogs unless you keep them that way. Um, and I kind of, <laughs> I kind of enjoy the personality that Winston's got with, with a slightly unkempt look. So I don't, I don't brush his face all that often. He takes care of himself well enough. He's a perfect dog. Again, I'm not used to doing a more serious drawing of Winston. Typically I do a very quick sketch of them on any packages that I mail out. Um, every box I send out has a little Winston sketch on it. Um, but I don't, I don't typically do a, a longer, more careful drawing of them. So this is kind of a fun, fun episode for me. I hope you're enjoying it as well. If nothing else, you're certainly learning a bit about my dog. If you're considering a dog out there, I can't recommend standard schnauzers highly enough. They're really incredible dogs. I know everybody says that about whatever kind of dog they've got, but he's incredible with kids. He's very tolerant of a lot of things. Um, He's, he's very patient, doesn't really bark much. He's a great dog. I've seen kids put hair bows all down his back. He tolerated that. Didn't care for it, but he let it happen. I've seen kids play a little too rough with him. He didn't care for that, but he tolerated it. He's, he's a great, great dog. And he loves to play. He likes being chased. Um, not not so big on fetch. If you throw the ball to him, he'll run to it, and then he waits for you to come get it. So I'm not really sure who's playing fetch when I play fetch with him. But I think he's turned the game around on me. He's too smart for that. Uh, we're gonna make Winston lying down. So this is all gonna be sort of shag. He lays on couches in a pretty funny way. He likes to hang his paws off the front. This is going to slope off pretty quickly. I'm going to speed this portion up because I know we're going kind of long. This is going to be his back leg. And again, this is all very, schnauzer legs are very shaggy. I call them schnauzer trousers. If you're a schnauzer owner, you can use that. You're welcome. So these are Winston's schnauzer trousers. He looks like he's wearing shaggy pants. Uh, and I call them schnauzer trousers because it, it starts right here. So it's, it's basically just his haunches and then this part is trimmed shorter. And he's got a little nub of a tail sticking out. Um, and we'll make that front part of his leg sticking out there. And this is all big burly chest hair. And then we'll have his front paw hanging down here. Oops. Let me move my sketch pad so you can see it better. just round that off here. And this would be his back foot back here. And just really scribbly. And then we'll give him a pillow on the edge of the couch. Another 
put a couple creases in there. And then ply the cushion on the back of the couch. And there's our Winston. All right, so here is our finished drawing of Winston. Um, he is fresh from waking up from an, a nap. I annoyed him by interrupting him to take this picture. He was not happy with me, and there's his personality showing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed following along. I'm sure you learned a bit more about my dog Winston than you cared to know. Uh, my apologies. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a great day. All right, kids, now that you've finished your doodles, color them in and then share them with both Mike Page and Medfield TV. We're going to take those images and we're going to put them all over our station. Can't wait to see what you guys make. Mm -hmm.